Good morning, my faithful lawyer, YouTube subscribers. Today is Monday, March 4th. The year is 2019. So, I'm going to continue this series about the trash in Atlanta. Because it seems um, I got a lot of um, comments where black women seem to think that they could only they should only date black men. At least that's the impression I got from reading those comments. It's kind of crazy for, if you are a black woman, you'd be a fool to just sit around waiting for, to date or marry a black man. In China, they have a huge problem with an overabundance of Chinese men and not enough women. In fact, in China, they have approximately... 5 or 10,000 men for every woman? Maybe, maybe that might be, but there's a, you know, at one point China had a one-child policy, and the average family only wanted to have a boy. So, in fact, a lot of women children were aborted, and, uh, you know, this, they didn't, everybody wanted to have a boy. Unfortunately, because of that, that, policy in everyone's desire to have a boy, now you have a country full of men and no women. Not enough women. For Some men will go through their entire life without any opportunity of marrying another Chinese woman. But now the Chinese government is actively pursuing Chinese marrying women of other countries, mainly Africa black African women because China, China realizes that these men these wives are they going into a serious problem if, if although China's already extremely over, overpopulated but they are allowing China used to frown upon people marrying outside of the Chinese race now they're encouraging it black women need to wake their asses up they constantly complain about black guys, black men marrying white women. What's stopping you from marrying a white man or an Asian man or a Chinese man or an African man or a man from the Caribbean? Or not? Why must you just have to have somebody black from America? And you know these niggas ain't worth shit today in America. Wake up. Why limit yourself to just black American men? That can be, what's the purpose? Heartbreak. Why limit yourself to some to a, a group of people, of men, who are very limited? You know, I was telling people kind of misunderstood what I was saying about coming to Atlanta and trying to find a mate. There's nothing wrong with dating outside of your race. There's a wonderful uh, white, black, Asian, Mexican. I mean, there's a whole lot of people out there. Quit focusing on just one person. One race, one, you know, it's just because it, it would be, a, it's just not working out. It's going to be a failure. It's just a failure. Especially when you know the odds are against you, when you got so many brothers, so many black men who just aren't qualified to be husbands today. Just too much, a lot of trash in the black male community. Let's just it's keeping it honest. I know since us lying to ourselves. You want your decent man it's, there are some decent black men out there, but they're very hard to find. Too much trash running around out here. You're an African American woman, black woman, you're looking for just for a black man, you you you're gonna be doomed. Open up all opportunities for dating. Quit just looking at black men, you never know what you might come across or who you may fall in love with. I'm all for interracial dating and marriage. I, also, I actually think it helps the black community by just <sighs> exposing um, black children to other communities. Different languages. 
just different just, just different stuff. So if I was a, an African a black woman, I, I would not would just I wouldn't just be sitting around waiting for somebody black some black man to show up and marry my ass. <laughs> Good luck with that one, honey. These niggas don't want to get married these days. They don't. So why would you be sitting around waiting on their age? That's just, that'd be a waste of time. That'd be a waste of time. I would definitely not be sitting around here waiting for no damn black man who ain't ever, 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 ever gonna show up. Why waste your time? And if you do show up, it's, so, it's such a disastrous situation with some of these men. Like I said, there are some good, decent black men in our community. But they are very difficult to find. It's like looking for a needle in a in a haystack. There's trash everywhere. You got trash everywhere in our community. So I'll, you can't just just limit yourself just to black men. Because it's just not. It's, you just. I just think you don't have a. You're, just, you're setting yourself up for failure. Look around. There's, there's a lot of other opportunities other than just. Black man, oh my lord. Oof, I should have made some coffee this morning. I got up early this morning at 5 o'clock, got dressed, went to the gym, did a cardio workout, and I am done. I'm back it out. I did that because I got a bunch of shit I need to do over here. And so, um, a lot of stuff. But I think black women getting mad and angry because black men have chosen to date Black, white women, that's, well, you know, was, I don't see no issues with that. If, if black men decide they want to date white women or Asian women or Korean women or whatever, what's, what's keeping you from doing the same? Quit hating. Stop, quit hating and start participating. I don't think anyone should be just sitting around waiting for someone who looks just like you. I don't care who you are. If you, if you fall in love with a Chinese man, then so be it. Whether, whether the person's Chinese or Asian or Hispanic or Mexican or... What's the, what does it matter? If you love the person, the person loves you. I ask you an opportunity there. There are billions and billions and billions of men available on this planet. You don't have to sit around waiting on Tyrone and da 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 Devante up standing up there on Boulevard with their pants hanging off their ass. Drive by them niggas. Go find you something better. Start hanging in environments where you can meet well-to-do people of different races. Join a country club. Business club. It's all kinds of organizations that you can join that you'll be introduced to different races and different people. You don't have to just sit around here. That's well, that's just my thoughts. But I wouldn't waste my life holding out for just a black man. Especially when there's so few and far in between to find decent ones. Excuse me. I'm drinking this tea. Well, like I said, I got up this morning, jumped out of bed, got dressed, went to the gym, did an hour of cardio, and then hit the weights for about two hours. I'm lost. I'm going to take a shower. I got a lot of shit to do today. But I just want to talk, do a little follow-up on that video I did yesterday. And I, I, later on, I'm going to do a follow-up to the video about this husband who killed his wife in Baltimore, claiming that she was stabbed by a homeless man. Now they've arrested him and his daughter. So I'm going to find out what's going on there and do an update video on that. But anyway, today it is, this is a short little video. Today is Monday, March 4th. The year is 2019. I'm out of here and I look forward to reading y'all's comments. I'm out and enjoy your Monday.